Hey, welcome to another episode of GeekOutdoors.com. On my continuing series on making the move from Windows to Linux, today I'm going to be talking about something that's really near and dear to my heart, and that is business and productivity apps, or basically how I make money. Now, before I begin, I do want to say that if you've not seen my original episode on how to install the Oracle VirtualBox inside your Windows machine, be sure to check that out in the descriptions below. In that particular tutorial, I'll show you how to install VirtualBox, and then I'll also show you how to install Linux Mint inside your virtual machine. So with all of that being said, one of the things that I really talk about quite a bit is business. And so a lot of us do use our computers and operating systems for a lot of different things, but the majority of people use their computers for productivity. And with that, you need some programs and applications that will allow you to do that effectively. Now, the very first one that I use on a regular daily basis is LibreOffice. And if you are not familiar with what LibreOffice is, it's basically an open source version of Microsoft Office. I use this application more than any other application. And primarily, I use the Writer document, which is equivalent to Microsoft Word, and the Cal spreadsheet, which is equivalent to Microsoft Excel. Now, LibreOffice in Linux Mint, it is installed by default. So you don't have to install this at all. It's already installed for you. And if you've ever used Microsoft Office, which most people have, the interface is very, very similar. And I will say this, LibreOffice compatibility-wise, a lot of your Office files will work just fine in Microsoft Office. However, it's not 100%. Okay, so if you are the type of person who uses Microsoft Office heavily in your business uh, or at work, then you'll probably still need to use Microsoft Office if you are a place that primarily uses Microsoft Office, okay? So a lot of the problems that I've seen if I am using LibreOffice and I am working with somebody who uses Office quite heavily, I have problems with Microsoft Word files. So it's like usually formatting issues, but 95% of all the files that I produce in LibreOffice, they work just fine. So, so um, I just wanted to put that out there for people who use Office heavily. Now that is the first one that I use and I use it on a regular basis. Now the second program that I use is Calibre. If you do any type of publishing, primarily if you are creating ebooks, if you are an author, then Calibre is an essential tool for you to use in Linux. Now if you are not familiar with what publishing tools are, if you are doing any type of publishing, the main software that the majority of quote unquote professionals use is Adobe InDesign. Now I myself, I do have to use some Adobe products and that means that I have to use either a Windows or an Apple uh, operating system in order to use this because this is not currently offered in Linux. However, if I do have a client that does not use Adobe products specifically, i.e. InDesign files or uh, Photoshop files. Uh, you know, you have to have those tools, Adobe tools, in order to use that. However, if I am working with a client that's not using these tools specifically, then I would definitely use Calibre as my main ebook editing tool. Like, for example, I have a book here. And if I edit the book, I could actually... Um, edit it right here uh, within Calibre. And Calibre allows you to work not only with Mobis, which is the format used for Kindle, but it also allows you to edit EPUBs as well, which is basically the standard for all the other book types. So all of your, your books that are on the Apple uh, Mac on in iBooks, they are EPUBs and other sites such as Smashwords, and uh, basically, EPUBs is basically the format used for all the other digital publishing outside of Kindle, which actually uses the Mobi format, which is proprietary to them. And so I use Calibre quite heavily for all my publishing needs. So if you are an author or a publisher, I think Calibre is a wonderful tool and it is 
open source and it is free. Now outside of Calibre, and you could go to their site right here to download it, another very powerful publishing tool is Scribus. Okay, and in Adobe InDesign, you could do both the book and also other publishing needs all in one place. Um, however, in Linux, I use Calibre for all my ebook related uh, needs and then Scribus for your publishing needs. And let me show you right here in Scribus. Now, Scribus, it's going to be under the graphics part if you are using it. So it's not under the publishing portion. But Scribus in here, you could do things such as documents, such as brochures, business cards. You can also do uh, books in here as well. So if you use Scribus and Calibre together, this is very similar to you using Adobe InDesign. Okay, so I will say that these two tools together are extremely, extremely powerful. However, just as I noted at the beginning, if you are working either in a career or as a business where your clients must use Adobe compatible tools, then you really have no other choice but to use Adobe uh, InDesign because these tools are not currently available in Linux. So those tools I do use, I primarily use Caliber. However, I use Scribus um, as well for other publishing needs. So those are the first two that I use. Now, after those, I also use editing, you know, text editing. And, you know, a lot of people, if they're thinking of text editing, they're usually thinking of something simple like a text editor. And in LibreOffice, the text editor is already included right here. However, I do use one that is more powerful, and this is called Kate. Now, all of these open source software that I'm talking about, you could download all of these under your software manager. You just go to administration and you could go to software manager and you could simply search for these tools there. They're all available there. Now, the reason why I like Cake, and Cake is pretty much the default text editing tool if you are using a KDE version of Linux. So, um, but I do really, really like this text editor because it is extremely, extremely powerful. So it allows you to do a lot more things than your basic text editor. And um, I really do love this tool. It's really a wonderful tool. So that's what I use primarily as my text editing tool. Now, to a lesser extent, if I'm dealing with a lot of programming, you know, like uh, either something basic like HTML or more complex like PHP or any type of uh, programming related items, um, I will use a tool called Bluefish Editor. This is an awesome, awesome tool, especially if you are a developer. Uh, you could come here and you could work with all types of file types right here. And especially if you do a lot of web development, uh, this is an excellent tool because there's built-in uh, editors like the CSS portion that will allow you to work with that, HTML5, and so forth. And there are so many different features that the Bluefish editor has. So if you are a programmer, specifically if you are a web developer, uh, Bluefish is a wonderful, wonderful tool. Now, outside of the publishing and text editor and web development, I also use collaboration tools. If you are going to be working with teams or you have a business where you must work with people around the world or even if you are collaborating online or remotely i highly highly recommend that you download slack and use slack slack is basically in a very simple term it's basically instant messaging combined with project management collaboration tools slack is absolutely amazing so uh, if you have not used it i highly recommend it it is free to use so you could download the slack program or you could go directly to the slack website however i think this is a much easier way of collaborating when you are on linux and this is multi-platform so amazing tool definitely if you are working in a team or if you have a business where you have people that work on your teams so speaking on collaboration the last tool that i want to talk about for business and productivity is one that most people are familiar with and uh, that is going to be Skype. A lot of people still use Skype. 
uh, like I said, especially if you are working in a collaborative environment where you need to do web conferencing and so forth, uh, Skype is definitely a tool that a lot of people still use. And uh, there it is. And um, this works just fine in Linux. And so um, if you do use Skype, then this should be very, very familiar for people who use it on a regular basis. Now, obviously, there are many other web conferencing tools such as Google Hangouts or uh, the one that I think is pretty awesome in Slack. There's also a video conferencing uh, extension that you could actually add. But for the majority of people, they use Skype and they are very familiar with this. So those are the main productivity tools that I use on a regular basis. So I use Calibre and Scribus for all my publishing needs. I do use uh, my cake for my text editing needs. And to some extent, I definitely use Bluefish for any programming needs, Slack and Skype for my collaboration needs. And finally, the most important one that I use on a regular basis is LibreOffice. I use this every single day. So those are the collaboration business productivity tools that I use in Linux. If there are any other productivity tools that you use in Linux, be sure to leave them in the comments area below. And don't forget, if you do like these videos, you find value in them, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. And don't forget, I am on Snapchat at Geek Outdoors. Thanks for watching. Thanks for checking out this episode. And as always, if you like these videos, be sure to click on the subscribe button. And for full written content, audio content, and additional geek stuff, head over to geekoutdoors.com. And I'll see you outdoors on the very next episode.